OGW tonight. Uh, we are here at the summit, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode nine, the last episode before the three-part immortality finale. With me, as always, my partner in crime, the man with the plan, Blaze Phillips. Say how you do. Hello, everybody out there in OMGW Nation. We have a big night tonight as we head for the moments that you've been waiting for in OMG Rest. That's right. All the title shots, all the matches for Immortality will be decided tonight. And the first one to announce, this one comes to no surprise, the Marauder will challenge Tito Esteban in a last man standing match for the North American Championship after Marauder's heinous attack on him when we thought they had come to terms with each other. But even more so, we have comments backstage. We asked Marauder why he would do such a thing. So let's go to that footage now. Tito and I had a very different life than most of the wrestlers in this company. We didn't have parents in the business, or a support network, or even money to pay coaches. We come from the streets. On the streets, there is no loyalty, no friendship. You keep what you kill and you take what you want. Tito, you want to be friends again? Let me school you here. We were never friends. We were allies. Because friends wouldn't take a belt from me. And now what I want is my belt back. I'm going to take what I want and keep what I kill. Whoa. Taking it back to the streets there, Ziggy. He doesn't realize that OMGW is not the streets. He doesn't have to bring that over. He does not have to bring that over, but he has. And what better place than a last man standing match? They're going to settle it once and for all. A personal back and forth that has really developed over the entire season. Yep, we got Brawler and Kilpatrick out there. Yes, uh, we have our first contest of the match. It will be... Nick Legacy taking on the Boston Brawler. And you know Kilpatrick is going to be in his corner. And the Outlaws, well, they're Outlaws. So I would expect to see some shenanigans. Hopefully Hard Rock will be there for uh, Legacy and to play some intermediate role if he needs to. Well, I got to say, uh, Nick and his brother Zach Rye are having their own hard times. I mean, if you recall back to the mill... <laughs> Nick came in, jumped Hard Rock from behind, and tossed him out after quite a run that Hard Rock was having. That is true. I mean, you necessarily can't argue with the strategy, though. Nick went all the way to the top three and almost won the whole thing. I do not see Hard Rock, though. No, it looks like Nick might be out there alone in this one. And, uh, it's another team-developing situation, but... Here at OMGW, all of our teams are singles wrestlers and vice versa. So, you know, that kind of stuff enters into it. It's hard to balance being a team and also competing for Solo's belts. Yeah, being an individual as well, yes. Uh, very few get the balance right, honestly. You know, some would even say perfect team is too much of a team, and then others would say that some people are too much of the Solos, like Alex Davis Hackenschmidt and... Uh, Neil Pert. However, Power Cord has had some serious success, that being Nick Legacy, Zachariah Hardrock. Hard Rock. You'd hate to see them fall apart as well as the Sweepers. Yeah, it could change the whole landscape of the dual team division that we have built in this season. Now, I know you're excited before this match gets underway. I do want to just hype our main event. We're going to find out who's going to be the people taking on Ingenious Engine for their vacated titles. It's going to be the perfect team who just lost them. Against the Phil Billings. I, I mean, do we have to even have this match, Ziggy? But for formality's sake, we will find out. <laughs> we will find out, and I expect it to be good. Uh, but we've got a contest underway in the ring right now. Brawler opening up, putting Legacy out of the ring, and that's where he likes to be. The Legacy shows that he is not afraid of Brawler. <laughs> That's right, a couple of hands. He's throwing hands with the brawler. The man who makes the music is not the man who backs down from a challenge. And 
Legacy is on fire right now. He is all over Brawler. It doesn't look like he needs his brother at all. Kilpatrick's just watching ominously from the side of the ring. Yeah, you got to wonder if he's going to get involved here. I mean, every time these two have been out in singles matches, we've had some sort of involvement. Sometimes I forget how to talk. Sometimes I've said all the words that I know how to say. Yep. <laughs> involvement is a tough one to deal with. Brawler's on the offensive now with a big DDT. It's bringing Nick Legacy back to his head feet, but Nick Legacy with the counter into the back body drop. Now he's just dropping some stomps. Nick Legacy is really impressing me so far in this match, especially with the intimidation of Brawler, coupled with the fact that you know looming behind you is Kilpatrick. You're right. Looming would be the word I would use as well. Whoa, big stalling on the big Brawler. Legacy showing that strength, that power. He, he always has like a, a power that does not match to his stature. No, no. He is a guy who is, uh, I think, on the cusp of greatness and has been for some time. Uh, let's see if he can resolve his stuff with his brother to make it work. No respect for Brawler. Giving some nice little stomps to that face. I mean, you fight fire with fire, right? Exactly. You can only give respect to those who have frankly earned it. And Brawler has not been the cleanest of wrestlers in this league thus far. No, that is true. Brawler has definitely won with a lot of... And there it is. Kilpatrick just slid a chair into the ring. You got to wonder if that's going to come into play or if the ref will catch it first. But Legacy with a bow and arrow stretch. We've seen our refs, and catching things is not always their strong suit. So. Well, they catch punches to the face and elbows to the back of the head, but that's about it. He's standing on the chair. <laughs> he's, not, he's not bright. Look, we had so much money to start our own private wrestling league. Whoa! Oh, chair to the head. The ref saw it. He's not going to DQ him. This is absolute nonsense, and you can hear the fans just going dead in the background. Uh, what have they done? Just paid off the ref? I don't know. That ref, I can't believe you a lot. Maybe he's just afraid that Kilpatrick will come up on him. And now Kilpatrick is distracting Legacy, even though Legacy fought through the chair shot and got a move on Boston Brawler. This is, this is textbook outlaws. And, you know, Boston Brawler has seen a lot of success uh, in this first season, but it's all due to Kilpatrick and their underhanded tactics. That is right. Brawler has been the one getting putting the Ws on the board, but not without help. Not without help. And uh, you've got to wonder if that's why they haven't been given a title shot. The championship committee can't look favorable on that. Looks like Kilpatrick's help is what Brawler has needed to be able to turn the tides of a match that was looking legacy all the way. Yeah, I mean, this is, I'm definitely seeing shades of the last match he won. I think it was against Kaiser. Uh, you know, it was the same thing. He was, uh, he was losing, and then Kilpatrick gets on that corner, and, uh, you know, Brawler has definitely put put his morals aside you know he used to be a straight up honorable fighter who let a dog in here <laughs> with their click clacky feet well anything can happen in omgw blaze that just proves it dogs children all are children. welcome here might hear crying babies in the background who knows what parents bring their baby to i have no idea like it's despicable Brawler fighting out of a hold, uh, trying to take back this match. Legacy's fought out of the cheating and shenanigans to get kind of an upper hand. But Brawler is now taking him on the long road to redemption. Right hand after right hand. Oh, then a kick to his giblets. Giblets, eh, Ziggy? Giblets. I said it, and I'm not taking it back. I think the kilt is bringing out some words that you wouldn't normally say. You know, that kilt, uh, it's its a statement. It's a statement of power, but it definitely leaves you open. Oh, Butterfly Backbaker. 
Did not say any of those words right. Not one of them. Oh, the old signature butter five black Bad baker. baker. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> then he gets a off the top rope. Senton. Can he get the win here? What is he? Oh, oh there's begging. Oh, back to the giblets. You get a giblet, you give a giblet. That's how it works, right? Just yeah. giblets everywhere getting kicked. A giblet for a giblet. Giblet the kicking. The old saying. Kill Patrick again with the distraction into... Oh, hair pull. Sometimes it's hard to feel bad for these wrestlers when they fall for the same dirty trick. Twice. Yeah, fool got me wonder. once. Yeah. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Yeah. Yeah. And that's That's it. And now Brawler is just going to work on Legacy. You know... Brawler used to be a, uh, you know, he used to be a hard, hardcore fighter, but he was always an upstanding dude. He's definitely put that to the wayside. And the spike into blood, breaking the lip open again. Uh, Brawler might have this. He might have this in the bag. Oh, Three. There it is. Legacy, bloody and beaten, takes the loss. His brother nowhere to be found. You gotta wonder. If that's not because of the betrayal uh, in the mill. It is possible. Anything is possible in this ring. And there's but the man, he could have used a little, just a little help on the outside. Would have really made a huge that. difference in that match. Uh, you you got to figure Zack Ryder's in the back watching. And the minute I saw that chair go in the ring, I would have been out there to help my brother. But my name's not Zack Ryder. It's Ziggy Vance. That's right, Ziggy. Wait a second. Uh... And then we're going to see the spike. This is the one that busted him open. And uh, gave Brawler the big time victory. Three count that took it all. Now we see Brawler celebrating. But wait a second. Wait a second. I see A.J. Burton at the top of the ramp. He has a mic. Let's hear what he's got to say, Blaze. Brawler, 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 Brawler. I don't know what you're celebrating about. We all saw what you just done did. Maybe the ref didn't catch it, but you and your crony and your bullshit cheat tactics, well, we have all just had about enough. And I got to say, I think in immortality, I think it's time to make an example out of people like you. It's time to show you just how invincible A.J. Burton is. So how about you and me, brawler, one-on-one -on -one in immortality so I could shut your mouth for good big words blaze big words it looks like aj's laid down the challenge to brawler to finish what they started back in week one calling him out in front of everybody and at this point brawler can't bring uh kilpatrick to the ring with a challenge like that wait a second i'm, I'm receiving word that we've got a feedback stage hard rock and legacy are confronting each other so this is it. This is how you repay me. I wanted to lift you up. I wanted to partner with you. I wanted to bring out the best to see what you could do. And you eliminate me in the mill like some kind of punk from behind. Now, hold on. Hard rock? I think it's more like hard to walk. Maybe I want to see what you have left. Maybe you've lost a step, and I think right now you need to take a step back. Let's face it, it's not me you're mad at, it's yourself. Maybe you're just too old. You better watch yourself, bro. You're not going to like how this ends. Maybe you're just a legend, and I think it's a time to retire your legend and to step aside before you just become another part of my legacy. All right, fine. You want to be that way? You want to go down this path? At immortality, you and me, one-on-one, -on -one, we settle this once and for all. Gladly. Whoa! Some family squabbles are being taken out here in the ring. Wow. 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 So it will be brother versus brother at immortality. Zachariah Hard Rock versus Nick Legacy at immortality. You know what, though, sometimes I think that's what you need to do, and especially in the family situation, is just duke it out, get it over with, so you can get back to taking on the task at hand, and that's pulling out a belt. I think you're right about that, Blaze. I think you're right. I think it's time to settle it. 
and somebody else who's going to be settling the OMGW Championship will be on the line between Alex Davis Hackenschmidt and Neil Pert. Neil the Iceman, he, Alex is cashing in his mill shot against the man himself. That's going to be your main event. But wait a second, I am now hearing we've got more Mike and it's the VIP's locker room. Let's go backstage now to hear what they have to say. There's my boys, the VIP, the men who know what the mind is power. See what the VIP method can do? The ingenious engine. You boys have another shot at the titles, all because... Wilson Schleiben! For one, I don't speak German. And for two, what is your deal? Uh, the problem is, what Wilhelm's trying to say is we are not sure that us having the shot has anything to do with the VIP method, or for that matter, anything to do with you. Excuse me? SGB, what are these guys talking about? Is this a mutiny? A coup d'etat? No, no. It's just, you know I respect you, boss, and what you've done for me. But it's just we've never seen you win anything. Okay, okay, all right. That's how it's going to be. If I have to prove myself, the VIP method, and how it works, so be it. I will challenge the biggest, the baddest man in OMGW to a match at immortality, the Kaiser. Whoa, hold on, boss. I mean, mind over matter is one thing, but that guy is four times your size. You think that matters to the VIP? That's what you guys still don't get. It is a mind over matter. The guy is only as big as I allow him to be. What you believe, you can achieve. So I'll go one further. I will challenge him to anything goes match. <laughs> I'll take care of the VIP after you're gone. Enough of that. Boss, seriously, this is too much. My greatest student, still so much to learn. This isn't even close to enough. Whoa! Logan, the VP, is going to challenge the Kaiser to an Anything Goes match at Immortality Blaze. Did I just hear that right? That's what you heard. He's got something to prove to his uh, followers, I suppose. And uh, I'll tell you, if he proves it, maybe, it, maybe they will shut up and just follow the lead of the VP. You know, we've had our discussions about the VIP method and whether it works or not. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it really seems to not. But, uh, yeah, I think that's the real test. If Logan pulls that off, well, that's, that's the bar right there. But right now, <laughs> at hand, we have in the ring Filthy Phil, the filthiest, and the Doc, the one and only Drew, the Doc Holiday. That's right, we do, we have them, and uh, they are in the ring. Uh, I, can I just say, I am so impressed that you did not say anything about Doc Holliday while we were talking, like you waited for us to finish a thought. I'm a professional, Ziggy. <laughs> well, this is it. Uh, we have the Phil Billies are finally getting their shot, so to speak. They have been an undefeated dual team. Uh, they are taking on the perfect team whose titles were vacated. Uh, it looks like the ref did not get the belts from them after their titles were vacated, and they are still waltzing around like they are champions. Uh, we're going to see what happens now as Doc Holliday starts off in the ring with Justin Stevenson. Let's see if, uh, let's see if Doc can... Uh, can uh, Get a good start for his team. Whoa! Oh, a little, a lift, little, but... little cheapness there is uh, Phil Billy drop, pulls a low bridge, puts Justin on the outside of the ring, and it kicks him in the face. He is just dirty. The filthiest. Yeah, they are still walking around with the belts. They are holding on to them. I'm not exactly sure why. I think they're just I think so... it's a statement, but I think what they fail to realize is they are in the ring now with the true champion. Led by Doc Holliday and Phil. This is something else. This is wait a second. I'm receiving a note right now. I've been told that the perfect team have instructed us to, to be told that if they are defeated here tonight and they don't get the shot for the truly vacated shot titles, they will relinquish the titles to the ref. 
But they're not going to give them up until they're fully beat by a team. So <laughs> maybe Phil Billies can do it here tonight. I don't think there's any maybe about it, Ziggy. I think that Doc Holliday and Filthy Phil have something to prove. Doc Holliday is not used to not having something around his waist. That is right. That is right. He has gone the majority of the season without a title, and uh, this... And nobody's going to doubt that they work well together. They do. They really do. Which is interesting. It may be a great balance because neither of them are straight team-oriented wrestlers, but they just seem to jive together. They do. They do. I mean, and if you're just watching OMGW, like, you would think they're, they're, they've they're been a team for a long time, but they just got formed in week two, I think, of uh, this season. And they have really just uh, just come into their own as a team. Yeah, they kind of clicked. I mean, their formation was more of a, ah, yeah, we got nothing better to do, so let's kick some ass. Well, that was the only way for, if you remember, that was the only way for Filthy Phil to get at Mar Marauder and uh, yeah, was to get a teammate. And it just, out of that, became this team. Doc Holliday able to fight through the um, submission hold. Yeah, Justin did get a tag, and Kurt is having much better luck against Doc Holliday. He does get a reversal there. Ooh, stopping Doc Holliday from setting anything up there. Northern Lights suplex. Kurt is on a roll against Doc Holliday. You know... As good as the Phil Billies have been, they are in the ring with one of the greatest tag teams that has ever graced the sport of professional wrestling. Uh, so this is a real test for them. I mean, this is really their immortality match right here. That is true. Getting the tag. Doc knows when to get out. Bringing the fresh filthy Phil in to take on Kurt Sampson. He's going to get the reversal early, stopping Kurt in his tracks. Can he capitalize on it? Oh, no. Kurt gets him back. Belly to belly dunk. suplex. Yeah. Kurt goes for a tag. Justin's stepping in. And Filthy Bill says, hey, you can do a belly to belly. So can I. And he can also pound your head into the mat like a brutal monster. Goes for the pin early. Gets a two and a half Ooh, count. That was a close count yeah. early in this match. I think uh, I don't think Kurt got in because he didn't realize that was going to be so be so close. Filthy with another belly to belly. Fighting this one out. Into the tree of woe. <laughs> Just dirty. Filthy Phil doesn't pull any punches or kicks. Going for the pin. Going for the pin after the choke. Another close count. And Another Kurt Sampson count. did not make it into the ring again. Mm -hmm. He must have a lot of faith in Stevenson. I think he got a lot of faith after the amount of time those two have wrestled together. Uh, but right now, I think Justin needs to make a tag because Filthy Phil is just running a train on him. Clinic, clinic, Ziggy. We've talked about this train is not the word. Oh, here. that's right, because everybody thinks I'm talking about butt sex. But, uh, <laughs> so it is a clinic. He's putting a clinic on in there. I don't think of Filthy Phil putting a clinic of anything on because I think of that being a very technical thing and let's face it oh he's just a brawler he is just a brutal monster and Justin gets Doc Holliday as he comes oh, in they get a tag double team coming to Doc this is going to hurt double rush and leg sweep and there's where the perfect team shine Kurt going for the pin Filthy's going to try and get in but we get only a two count Doc is able to get out. Kurt's going back. And I got to say, I know you love Doc Holliday, but right now Perfect Team is in the driver's seat. Huge spine buster from Kurt Sampson. That could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody's getting in to try and stop it. Doc Holliday kicks out on his own merits, and Filthy Phil was interrupted by Stevenson. 
Yeah, he had to do that one on his own, and he did. He did it well. And we got a figure four. No, an Indian Deathlock. Wow, what a move. Kurt Sampson has uh, routinely gotten the... the ooh, ooh, there deep we go. arm drag. There's some life from Doc. And there's a, there's a knee. Now we're exchanging. Doc looks pissed in there. Knee after knee. Oh, SSC cutter. SSC cutter. Is that enough? Is that enough? Kurt! Kurt kicks out. Immediately kicks out. I cannot believe it. This is We are already deep into a match right now. You see how Doc could just turn his intensity up at a whim's notice. Yes, yes. I also see how much you love him and want to kiss him. Oh, I don't. Ziggy. <laughs> I'm a married man. Is he looking for another SSC cutter? Is he looking for part two? No, he's looking for the hangman's noose. Oh, and he has it locked in tight. Can he get it? Can he get Kurt here? Oh, no, that he darn 10 second ten limit. 10 seconds. But he goes for the pin. He might have him choked out. No, Kurt kicks out fast. I can't believe the speed at which Kurt is kicking out. Tagging in Filthy Phil. Filthy Phil definitely had more luck against Kurt. Kurt doesn't know quite what to do against him. And Filthy right into the military press drop. Uh-oh, he's setting him up. He's setting him up for a big clothesline. He's going to uncork. Boom! Huge clothesline. And he's going for the pin. This could be it. Doc's in to stop Justin, but he doesn't pull it off. Justin gets the breakup. I mean, after the SSC cutter, the hangman's noose, and that clothesline, you got to figure that was the end if Justin wasn't there. Exactly. Oof. Filthy Phil is just dirty stomp. Oh, the dirty stomp! Dirty stomp drop. He gets it. Filthy TSD. Phil's got the cut. Oh, Doc was not able to get there quick enough to run interference with Stevenson. Kurt is officially in trouble and needs to make a tag. Stevenson and Doc seem to be brawling on the outside, though. That could be what's needed to keep Filthy Phil in the ring on him. Definitely beaten and bruised Kurt Sampson. Yeah. Buckle bomb on Kurt. And I definitely I definitely was talking to the Phil Billies before this match, and they said anything it takes, they've got to get their title shot. Kurt, however, reverses the military breast drop into a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. you got to say, get to the tag. This is it. you got to get to that tag. You take too much damage, but he is just too tired. Too tired to even move. And Doc Holliday is keeping... Uh, him busy in the corner, not allowing him to really set to receive the tag. No, no. Uh, another military press, press drop, and you got to be afraid that this might be it if Filthy can get to a pin. Kerr with a deep arm drag. Can he get the tag now? He's got to get out of that ring, but I think, I think Doc and Justin are still brawling. Wow, what a shot from Filthy Phil. He's still in control while Justin and Doc just are still brawling on the outside. Anything at any cost, but Kurt is in trouble. Ooh, powered up into a power bomb from the mat. I think Filthy's got this in. He's just working him over. I do too. He's beaten, and Doc is doing a good job of keeping Stevenson out of this match. What a clothesline. Did you see that clothesline? The torque on that. I don't think. Justin, Kurt's got to be out. Justin Stevenson back in the Justin ring. Stevenson with the save. Yeah, how is he? I mean, I don't know how he got away from Doc, but he did. I need to get a tag. Desperately need that tag. They're still brawling outside. Doc's just not letting Justin get into a place where he can get a B tag. Oh no. DSD again! Dirty stop drop! Oh, he hits it! That's gonna be it! That's gonna be it if Justin can't get to him. Filthy Phil's in to run interference. He kicked out! He 
he kicked out? How did he get, where did he pull the life from? Filthy fell leaving Steve, uh, Samson no time to recover. Full Nelson slam. This is crazy. And finally, I think Doc is going to his corner. And so Justin will go to his corner. Ooh, filthy Phil. Just dropping the hammer fist on just uh, Samson's back. Yeah, yeah. And Doc Holliday's back in the ring. Samson has been targeted in this match thus far. Yeah, he has. This is absolutely ridiculous. still in the ring. He is, and he's setting Doc up on the top rope, but Doc says no. Face Faceplant. Face that was heavy. Now Doc he in for the cover. Can Filthy Phil run interference? It looks like he can. Oh, he kicked out on his own he merits yet again. again. Kurt showing the heart of a thousand warriors here. Just can't seem to be put away by the Philbillies. This is what makes them so good, though. The Philbillies are going to have to overcome. They're going to have to find a the end of the ref. Like a wet napkin, he's out of there. you got to wonder if anybody's going to take advantage of that. They, they can't even seem to... Whoa! Oh! Ooh. Huge neck breaker from Doc. The ref's back up. Thank God, since he only got pushed. Leg drop. Samson needs, needs, needs to get out of this ring. They're just not giving him the opportunity to get to his corner, which is probably the smartest play. Ooh, we got a double team coming up. Ooh, wait, I don't think we've seen that from these guys. No, nice. 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 They're working together now. They've got a strategy, and they're following through. The Kurt reverses. He finally gets out. He finally gets wow. out with the tag. Justin is in. This could be bad for the Philbillies as they really have the advantage. Ooh. Oh! Filthy says, I don't care who's in, and puts Justin down. And we've got a brawl on the outside now. Oh! <laughs> Off Kurt. the ring post. Off the ring post. Kurt then puts Philbilly back into the ring. I don't think anybody's happy in there. We've had a lot of fighting, just straight up brawling and fighting in this match. Phil Billy now going after Kurt. Justin going after Phil. Filthy Phil. Saying the wrong names. Remember, folks, Stevenson is still the legal man in this match. Yeah, Stevenson and Filthy are the legal men currently. We are up to five on the count out. Justin heading back into the ring. Kurt decides to go after Filthy. No, he's just going to walk him back. He just puts him back in the ring. Justin spins him around, put him into the ropes. Now I think it's Phil Billy who needs to get to his Ooh. corner. Yeah, I, or, Filthy Phil, filthy not Phil, Phil Billy. They're Phil Billy's together. I made the same mistake. Justin has now got. Fully upper hand on Filthy Phil. Fireman's carry from Filthy Phil. He's got to make a corner to, uh, tag, but he decides not to. Instead, he goes for the military press drop on Justin. Will this be? No. He's going for the pin. Doc's in to break it up. He we gets got it. three count. Doc played interference and Filthy Phil was able to pull it off. What a match. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that one got just personal real fast, but the, the Filthy Phil and Doc Holliday will be heading to immortality. For the title shot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the perfect team is forced to vacate their titles that were already made.
vacated. Yeah, they will. They, we can see them right now actually handing the belts to the refs uh, with kind of forlorn looks on their face. They're not happy about it. I don't think they're happy about the way the Phil Billies did this, but the Phil Billies said at all costs, and they they did it. They accomplished. They had a game plan. They came out here and did it. They didn't make friends, but they got a title shot, and that's what matters. They're going up against VIP members, the Ingenious Engine. What a match. A lot of action in that one. Kurt Sampson definitely held strong through that match. <clears throat> Kurt Sampson was a rock, but it just wasn't enough in the end. Filthy Phil got the win on him. He gets the fireman's carry here. And, you know, props to Filthy. I thought he needed a tag right there. He was pretty damaged, but he goes for this big military press drop and manages to get the 1-2-3. The Phil Billies are going to Immortality, and they're going there for the dual team titles. Can they take on the Ingenious Engine? Uh, wait, wait, we are receiving some more reports, Blaze. We are receiving reports that that match is not just going to be a normal match, that these two teams will meet... In the cage. In the cage. The steel cage, that's right, Blaze. They will be taking on each other in a steel cage tornado team match. That is going to be something else right there, ladies and gentlemen, right there. And we will decide who will be those dual team champions after that match is over. Well, that's it. That, that so, is it. for until next time, be sure to tune back in next Monday for some more OMG Wrestling.